Hello Leo, welcome to your reading and as always I hope you are doing well and uh, Leo if you are new here my name is Joe and I'll be doing a reading for all Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus placements, okay? Please do keep in mind that my readings are timeless and they are general so just take whatever resonates and leave the rest behind. The best time for you to watch or listen to my readings is when you come across them or if a title catches your attention. That's why they're timeless and that's usually how it works. Do feel free to browse my channel, you might want to check some of the other readings that I've done for your sign, but Leo, more than anything, do check what other signs you have and your other placements, mostly Moon, Rising and Venus. And then you can go ahead and check out some of the readings that I've done specifically for those signs. Mostly if you're having a hard time finding a reading that resonates with you at this current moment of your life. Sometimes it happens and it usually means that your messages are just simply coming stronger from those placements at this current time. It all depends on your current life journey or path, okay? Last but not least, please do subscribe, hit the like button, leave me a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. It's always the best way to support a channel. And thank you to all of you who have already liked, commented, subscribed, and for your kind donations. I truly appreciate all of your support. Thank you very, very much. All right, Leo. Okay. Leo, you have the Four of Pentacles as the starting energy of your reading or the current energy that you're dealing with or will be dealing with soon. Leo, I think it's time to let go of something. It's time to let things flow the way they're meant to flow. Okay? I think some of you have been holding on to tight to something and you're meant to just, you know, it's time to let go of it. Um, if you keep holding on to this, uh, whatever it is, energy, uh, it's just going to keep draining you. I think some of you are already drained, exhausted by dealing with it. Okay, you see the robe, the shawl, you see how torn it is. This is what this energy is doing to you. Okay, I think you're meant to just let it flow, let it move, let it breathe. Okay, some of you might need to let go of something that could be even if it's not emotional, it could be physical. Sometimes we even receive things that have been passed on through generations. It could be objects, jewelry, whatever. And uh, maybe some of you, it's time to, to do some cleansing or cleaning. Whether it's physical, even within you, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. Leo, the energy that's crossing, it could be a challenge or a blockage. It's the lovers, Gemini energy, okay? But since it's the, the blockage or the challenge, it seems that some of you might be in a situation where you're not meant to be. Some of you feel that you're in a situation or in an environment or a place where you don't feel like you are part of it in a way, and you're not. Because this is usually a divine union this is divine guidance to be in the, in the right place. But it seems that maybe you're having a hard time accepting this. And you wish it was divinely meant for you. But I don't think you it is. And this is why you're being asked or told to just let go of something. You're holding on to tight to and it's just it's doing you more harm than any good okay crowning you in your conscious mind you are aware of this you're constantly thinking about it maybe some of you it could be a desire I don't know Queen of Pentacles very strong divine feminine earth energy I think some of you are asking yourselves about your Something about your own self being, your own energy, your own stability. Maybe some of you are asking yourselves, you know, if you're asking yourselves, maybe like, what's wrong with me?
Maybe some of you are asking yourselves why is it that you can't have something that is meant for you? I think some of you might be being very hard on yourselves. Some of you are asking yourselves how you're going to probably if the idea of leaving an environment behind it's about how to become independent and self-sufficient to be able to take care and provide for yourself maybe others but uh, it could be that you're trying to make sense of certain things you're trying to figure something out mostly within yourself and your own energy maybe maybe you are asking yourselves about about you, you know, I think some of you are trying to figure yourselves out somehow. You're probably asking, you know, what is it? What, what is wrong with me? with me? Why can't I have something that is meant for me? I don't feel stable. I need to feel stable. I need to feel secure. And maybe you holding on to this situation is what gives you some type of security at least you think it does it gives you a sense of security but it really doesn't actually like i said i think this is draining you more it's affecting you more okay i think the idea of leaving something behind has already crossed your mind below you in your subconscious mind you're not aware of this and you should divine higher self universe your guides your spirit angels want you want you to focus more on this it's the page of cups leo it seems that something is keeping you under some type of a control emotional emotional it might be that there might be some type of manipulation and if not you're just very probably emotionally attached to something and you're meant to let go of it there might be someone who likes to keep you like this keeps the page of cups you see how he has that fish in the cup that fish is barely struggling to survive. I don't know if the cup has any water on it or not, but this page keeps that fish in this cup. You know, it's a sense of control. That fish belongs in the background, that ocean, that vast ocean, to swim freely and to not feel like if it was being choked or controlled. Maybe some of you are doing this to yourselves with your own emotions because of that sense of not wanting to let go. But if not, maybe this is someone else who's trying to keep you. This could be that other person, maybe, trying to keep you in their, under their domain, something like that. Okay, this isn't balanced. Whatever it is, it could be a job position, it could be a relationship, okay, a partnership. But this situation is not, it's not the best. This is almost like having the devil, okay, which is very similar because the devil also has an archangel and the two figures, the masculine and feminine energies, but they're chained, you see. So that's pretty much the energy I'm picking up, picking up here with the lover's energy. You're in a situation that you are meant to move away from, break free from, and focus more on your own independence. Maybe some of you are already thinking about that. Your own stability, your own...
sense of self-worth. Behind you, recent past, where you're coming from, what you are leaving or should be leaving behind, or the reason why you're going through this is the Seven of Pentacles. Leo, I think you have been investing in a situation. I think you have been giving a lot of your energy to something that has not given you any fruition, any type of result. And you're meant to leave this behind. I think a lot of you have done a lot. Something about the number seven, I don't know why. Something about seven individuals, seven siblings. Seven. Yeah. Seven days a week. Maybe you have been doing something all seven days of the week without resting. I don't know, but it seems that it doesn't it doesn't give you anything in return. There might be a sense of, uh, of an appreciation for what you've done or whatever, but you're meant to leave this behind. You're meant to stop giving your energy or investing your energy in something. Okay. Stop waiting. Stop holding on tight to something. You're meant to let go of something. You're meant to just and start focusing more on you now. It's time to make yourself the priority. Okay. Don't let anything try to manipulate you, trick you. This can also be a very trickster energy in a way. Mostly at an emotional level. Sometimes we deal with individuals or situations that try to keep us trapped at an emotional level. Be careful with that. Okay? This is the near future where you're meant to go in front of you. Where you are headed to or should be headed to okay star aquarius energy i like that very much leo you're meant to answer to some type of a higher calling connect with the divine something about staying balanced focused and it's something about Allowing yourself to dream, to dream big. The star is about, you know, putting, wishing upon a star. There's hopes, there's dreams out there. You're meant to connect with the divine now and have faith. Trust, trust yourself, trust the path you're on. Okay. You're meant to let things flow. You have to let things flow. Okay? And go with the flow of things. And if something has to be released, just do it. Everything will be okay. Have trust, have confidence, and connect with the divine. Vulnerable. Allow yourself to be vulnerable. That's why she's naked. Everything's going to be okay. This is how you should see yourself or respond to the situation. Or it's a representation of you in this reading. Tower, Scorpio energy. Leo, you're meant to allow things or you are the one who is meant to tear something down. That has been built in a, you know, in a not very stable foundation. If something has to fall, just accept it. If something has to come down, if something has to come to an end, just allow it to happen. Go with the flow of things. Okay? It's this lover energy that it's, it's not balanced. It might be divine intervention. Maybe some of you, I don't know. Are you going through a divorce? Are you considering quitting your job? It could be something like that. But I think you know something about this. It's 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 draining you. You are exhausted. 
And I don't think you want to deal with it anymore. But you don't know how to. Or I don't know. I'm not sure. But this tower moment has to come. And you have to accept it. And you have to go with the flow of things. Maybe that's with the stars, you know. Just go with the flow of things. Let go. Okay? Stop investing your time and energy in something that does, it's not giving you anything in return. This is the energy that's surrounding and influencing or inspiring you. Page of Wands. That's your energy, fire energy. It's this new spark for a new beginning. I think some of you have already, this desire has already crossed your mind. Pages are usually desires or thoughts, initial ideas. I think you're ready for something new. I think you're ready to go on a new path, a new journey, and making new discoveries, you know. Got the three pyramids here in the back. I don't know if they're pyramids, but I think they are. Yeah, they are. Because they're more, they're much uh, clearer in the Knight of Wands. And pyramids is, well, connected with discoveries. Remember that the right away uh, tarot was decided at the time when archaeology was a big thing back then. And everybody wanted to be an archaeologist, you know, that, that was like a big thing back then. And yeah, I think you're ready to become this discoverer. Allow yourself to discover new, new things in life. I think you're ready for that, for a new beginning. And don't be afraid of being small starting new, starting fresh. I think some of you had to go through something where you had to be stripped to the core. Okay? Left without nothing. But your own faith. And that's why he's got that little feather on the front. I always have a resemblance of the Page of Wands as the a resemblance of St. Jude, which is the patron of hope and faith in the Catholic religion, you know, that little red feather reminds me of St. Jude. So yeah, you're not being left with anything but your own faith. And uh, it's time to start walking and down a new path, a new beginning. Okay, Leo, hopes and fears, judgment. You feel you're too old? For a new beginning? Or do you feel that it's too late for this new beginning? I don't know. Some of you are not sure if you are meant to be answering to this calling. There's something telling you, and I know you can feel it, that it's time to rise and shine and leave behind something that you have outgrown, which is those tombs. Don't be afraid, answer to this calling. If you are being called to, to do something different, to start something new, I think listen to your intuition, feel, listen to your gut, okay? Listen to your gut feeling. I advise you to answer to this calling. I think it's time for most of you. I think you're about this close to closing a big chapter in your life, okay? This is the outcome or the advice, Queen of Cups. Leo, you are meant to sit with your own energy and heal, make peace with the situation with yourself, focus on your health, focus on what makes you truly happy, self-care, is very important. Emotional healing is very important. Very divine feminine water energy, doesn't matter what gender you are. We have two, two queens here, the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. This is about sitting with your own energy and doing a lot of inner work, healing, understanding, sense of self-value, self-worth, 
OK. Protect your emotions. It's very important. And do take care of yourself. Take care of your health. Oh, no. sorry. Bottom of deck. Ten of cups. If you do this inner work with yourself, if you focus on your health, your well-being, your stability, your happiness, you can reach this Ten of Cup energy at some point. You will see the light at the end of the tunnel. You will see the rainbow after the storm. But don't think that it's too late. Don't think that you are too old. Okay? Allow yourself to expand to different lands, to faraway lands. Explore new places. Explore new feelings. Okay? And turn your back on what's trying to hold you back. The drama, the conflict, that lower vibrational energy. You're not meant to deal with it anymore. Stop wasting your time with lower vibrational energies. You're meant to shine. Okay? Turn your back away and focus on better things now. On a new beginning. Okay, Leo? Okay, let's get additional messages, advice, or warnings with this other deck. In case I'm missing something, this is always something that I always like to do. It's an extra bonus, just in case I'm missing or overlooking something in the main reading. And then I'll close your reading with the Spirit of the Animals Oracle deck. All right, Leo. Okay, let's shuffle. Five of Wands again. Conflict. Stop uh, dealing with that energy. Then we've got the Ten of Cups in the bottom of the deck. What the messages do you have for Leo regarding this reason, please, for situation? If there's something else I need to know, what would it be, please? Anything else, please, for Leo? They say that one. That's it. I only have two cards. So, Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. It's time for a new beginning. Something more stable, something more promising. Stop investing your time in this. Leo, I got the three of wands. Again, that's again confirming, you know, turn your back on something and uh, explore new places, new situations. The world is right before you. Expand, okay? And then I got the Emperor which is Aries energy. It's about you finally taking control of your life, being in charge of your life, your destiny, what it is that you want for yourself. You know, this is conquering. This is, this is winning a battle. You have to see who you are. You don't have to time. You don't have time to deal with bullshit. Okay? It's time to take control of your life. Right, Leo? Okay. Leo, let's close your reading with the Spur of the Animal, animal Sorgle deck. Remember that whatever message comes out of this deck, um, whether it's related or correlated with the reading, it doesn't have to in any way, shape, or form. But just take the message. As additional advice, 
that might help you at some point later down the road, okay? Sorry about that. That's that one. Okay. <laughs> that was quick. Leo, you got the deer, which is love. Right. I did forget this. No, I didn't say. I don't know. But yeah, with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups, I think it just crossed my mind. But don't be too hard on yourself, okay? Be gentle with yourself. You heal with the power of love. See the light in all things and acknowledge your self-worth and grace. That is your card. See, this is about seeing that light. It's also the Ten of Cups is seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? You have to acknowledge your self-worth, your grace. Okay? You have to sit with your energy and do a lot of healing. And like I said, you heal with the power of love, you know? You have to do a lot of inner healing here. Self-care, self-love. Okay, make yourself a priority here. But it's time to let go of something. Okay? And yeah, don't be too hard on yourself, Leo. That doesn't help at all. Okay? Leo, this is the best I can do for you. I hope this reading helps you and it gives you the guidance and the answers that you are seeking at this moment of your life. And if you do like it and enjoy it, please do hit the like button, leave a comment. I would truly appreciate it very much. And as usual, I sure do hope to see you next time. And please do stay safe, be happy, and stay very blessed. Goodbye.